Ya viste, corazón. <risa> Bárbara, a la hora que avisa. Ay, no, me anda un animal aquí. Hello everybody, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, girls and guys. How are you? Hmm? I'm fine. fine. You're fine, excellent, very good. You girls and everybody, I hear you like you're tired. Escucho como como cansadito, right? Y es entendible ya es miércoles. <laughs> All right. But if you think about it, tomorrow we finish level two. Si lo piensan, ya mañana termina, right? So you can rest in peace. Ya pueden descansar. Now, everybody, let's get started. Final exam. Vaya, voy a aclararles algo, everybody. Vamos a trabajar las primeras eh, tres partes del exam. Sin contar el listening, porque el listening lo tienen que hacer ustedes, right? En su tiempo que estén tranquilos, calmaditos, hacen el listening y lo resuelven, porque esa es la única parte del listening que tiene en toda la plataforma. Así que la van a hacer ustedes, pero vamos a trabajar las otras tres partes, la B, C, and D, right? We're going to work them together. We are going to deliver the correct answers and everything. Now, what I want to tell you guys is that also we are going to finish the platform. En esta clase vamos a finalizar la plataforma, right? Ya con esto sería la, lo último. Quiero preguntarles, ¿cómo vamos con esa platform? ¿Ya la finalizaron? Yes. Yes, teacher. Very good. Good to hear that. Eso sí, Malera. Miren. Now. Let's continue. We are in class 15. Let's practice. Voy yo primero. Recordemos esa pronunciation. And let's get started. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Yes, you can. Can he sing? Yes, he can. Can she sing? Yes, no, she can't. All right. Yo emocionada con el yes. <laughs> All right. No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. What can I sing? Philip, no, who can sing? Philip can, all right? Aquí tenemos el who, everybody. I hope you didn't forget the pronunciation. Espero que todavía nos acordemos que esto se pronuncia who, all right? Y si tenemos la H-O-W, H-O-W sería how, all right? So let's get started with this practice. Let's go with Juan Jose Pineda. Tell me the first three sentences. Me dice las primeras tres oraciones, please. Good evening. Good evening, Juan. How are you? Uh, fine. Fine. All right. 
action. Perdón, teacher. Las primeras tres oraciones de... Ah, aquí serían con los primeros tres subjects. Es una sola oración, pero con cada uno de los subjects. Ah, entonces sería... I can say very well. Ah, sí. Very well. You can say sing very well. He can sing very well. Yes. She can sing at all. Y we can say sing at all. Ah, sí, perdón. Y they can sing at all. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Okay. Let's go with Emma. Emma, tell me the first three sentences. No, the first three questions. Usted va a hacer las primeras tres preguntas. And Marvin okay. Soriano, you answer, please. Can you sing? Yes, I can. Can I sing? Can you can? Yes, you can. <laughs> can he? Can he sing? <laughs> yes, he can. <laughs> I feel like you are a little bit sleepy, <laughs> baby, Marvin. <laughs> ya tienes sueñito, Marvin. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't worry. Excellent. Thank you, Emma and Marvin. Very good. Let's go with um, Cecilia. Rodríguez. Ajá, René, hoy sí le funciona el micro. Ya, ya mandé a arreglar la máquina, hoy sí. Yay, excellent, very good, qué bueno, René, ya va a poder practicar. Very sí, good. perdón por lo bien. No se preocupe, I understand, yo comprendo. Let's go with, ah, ¿con quién iba? Con Cecilia Rodríguez, right? Cecilia Rodríguez, you ask, usted va a preguntar las otras tres que tenemos, and Cecilia Romero, you answer, please. Okay. Can she sing? Yes. No, she can't. Can we sing? No, we can't. Can they sing? No, they can't. Good evening. Good evening. I'm sorry. Don't worry, my friend. No se preocupen, everybody. Thank you, Cecilia. Cecilia one and Cecilia two. <laughs> All right, because we have two Cecilias. Okay. Si no le voy a estar diciendo el apellido mejor. Miss Romero, Miss Rodriguez. All right, it's easier. Now, let's go with the other two options that we have. Raquel Santos, please. You ask and you answer. Con, las, con estas otras dos. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Billy can. Excellent. Very good. Now, my friend, I'm going to make the same question that I did yesterday. Voy a preguntar lo mismo que les pregunté ayer. ¿Cuáles serían um, las yes or no questions? Se les llama yes or no questions porque inician con yes or no o por qué? Porque necesitan el verbo auxiliar o usan el verbo auxiliar. Mm -hmm. Exactly, too. And what else? ¿Y qué otra razón tenemos? See if you remember. Because you answer with yes or no. All right. By logic, my friends, all right? By logic. ¿Por qué se les llama yes or no questions? Oh, because you provide an answer with yes or no. You are not talking too much. In, too much, too much. <laughs> you are not talking too much in this type of questions. Aquí en este tipo de preguntas no hablamos mucho, all right? Solo decimos, yes, I can or no, I can't, all right? No, no el propósito de estas yes or no, no es sensible en dar too much information. All right, it's just to have the answer. Now, why do we call WH questions? Ahora, ¿por qué le llamamos WH?
No, creo. <laughs> Let's check. Sí saben. I know that you know. Porque esperamos más información en la respuesta. Mm -hmm. Exactly, girl. Very good. And also, by logic. Okay, miren esto. Raquel y Emma nos dieron las respuestas eh, como son, right? Teóricamente así son. Pero también by logic, si nos vamos by logic, porque inician con WH por. Right? Tienen dos options. La que les salga mejor expresar, it's okay. Right? De hecho, las WH questions se conocen como interrogative questions. No, interrogative. Ajá, interrogative questions. And also, se les conoce como informative questions or information questions. Right? Porque, como mencionó Emma, they ask for more information. En ese tipo de preguntas, yo no me puedo quedar corta y decir yes, no. Right? I need to provide more. So that's the thing with that. Let's go to the structure. Um, Mayra, tell me the structure of can or can't, please. Subject plus can or can not, can't plus verb plus complement. That's correct, my friend. Thank you. Now let's check the guiding examples, right? Ayer copiaron esta estructura, everybody. Me confirman? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Very good. Let's go with the guiding examples. Um, Flor de Maria, example number one, please. And two. My father can sing very well. <laughs> Hi, uh -huh, excellent. Thank you. My father can sing very well. Alexis Balmore, two and three, please. Two and three. They can't, they can't dance. I can swim and dance, but I can't sing. Very good, excellent. Did you notice, guys? Notamos ese énfasis en la T que Alexis nos, nos mostró, all right? Quiero que lo hagan, everybody. I know, it's difficult, puede ser difícil, all right? Pero esa t -t -t tiene que sonar, all right? Así como acaban de escuchar, can't, can't, all right? I need you to pronounce that T para que no nos pase lo mismo que nos puede pasar con las S, con los plurals, que a veces no pronunciamos bien esa S. Tenemos que forzarnos por pronunciarla, all right? This is a matter of practice, guys. Esto es cuestión de practice, all right? Because you already know the theory. So let's go with number four. Nestor Amilcar, please, number four. Patty can speak English, but she can speak French. That's correct. Excellent, sir. Very good. You guys, vamos a ver en esta. Esta pregunta que le voy a hacer, all right? Solo me la responden si quieren y, y si pueden. ¿Qué creen que les falta a la... A la... Sentence number four. Gramaticalmente no me falta nada, pero ¿qué creen que le falta? Es un signo el que le falta. Una coma. Una coma, exactly. ¿Y a dónde iría esa coma? Eh, al final de English, antes de bad. Después de English. Correct. Very good. That's correct. Why? Because I'm providing two ideas, right? Porque estoy dando dos ideas en una sola sentence. They must be divided by a comma. Thank you, everybody. Very good. All right. Guiding a structure for questions with Ken. And let me listen to you, Emma. Tell me the structure. Ken plus subject plus verb plus complement plus... Question mark. Ajá, excelente. <laughs> Yo iba a decir bar question. <laughs> question mark. Excellent. Thank you, Emma. It happens, all right? It happens. Suele pasar. Now, let's go with the guiding examples. Let me check. Por aquí tengo personas que todavía no me han participado. Nerio, Lourdes Nerio, please tell me question number one. Can you perform at the body? Very good. Can you perform at the body? 
Remember everybody, rising intonation. Ya vimos la rising intonation. No nos olvidemos. Can you perform at the party? Number two, Carla Abrego. Can you, can you jump height? Very good, excellent. Number three, Kimberly Elena. Can Marcus crawl fast? Uh -huh, excellent, very good. All right, you guys, those are the examples that I was uh, showing you yesterday. But today, I wanted to remind you those examples. Quería recordarles estos ejemplos porque vamos a hacer una practice, all right? Let me check. Marvin, tell me the instructions, please. Okay. Number one, work individually. Number two, create one sentence in affirmative with can. Number three, create one sentence in negative with can't. Number four, creating one question using can. Exactly. That's correct. All right. So what do we need? One affirmative, one negative, and one yes or no question. All right. Let's work on that one. Es poquito lo que van a trabajar, all right? Solo son tres examples, three examples. So let's work. Si en algún momento necesitan que les ponga una estructura o los examples o los ejemplos, me confirman. Finish, teacher. Very good, Emma. We are going to wait around three more minutes and we're going to start sharing. Vamos a esperar tres minutos más, Emma. Vamos a iniciar. Okay.
کافی نیستی که Excellent, my name is very good. How are you feeling, my name is feeling better? Uh, I have fever. Oh no, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I hope you get better. Espero que se recupere, right? Thanks. Very good. All right, everybody, let's get started. Let's check. I have my notebook, so I'm going to take notes who are the ones for TTP. So let's get started with with Emma. <laughs> you already knew, Emma, that you were the first one. Usted ya sabía que era la primera. Let me go. Uh -huh. Okay. An affirmative sentence will be, I can speak English very well. In negative sentence, I can't swim in the sea. Mm -hmm. Question, can you play the piano? Very good, excellent, Emma, very good. No mistakes, I don't have anything to correct, right? No hay ninguna corrección. Let's go with my Irene. Okay. Also, I can't play soccer. My mom can't cookie cake. Do you can dance it with me? All right, can you dance with me? Yes. All right, yes. <laughs> yes you can. Very good, my nene. Thank you. Thanks. Let me go with, let's check. Do I have another volunteer? Excellent. Thank you, Kimberly. I can't I can ride a car. You can eat the lunch in the dining room. Mm -hmm. I can't sing. She can't ride the bus, but I know, no, era she, era he. <laughs> we need yeah. to know. <laughs> she can ride a bus. Excellent. Yes, he can't ride the bus, uh -huh. but he can ride his car. Uh -huh. And can Sarah ride the bike? Very good, Kimberly, excellent. Let me go with Cecilia Romero. Okay. Number one, I can dance, but I can't sing. Number two, Ernesto can swim, but he can't play soccer. Number three, can Maria can my hair? Can I? Uh -huh. Cut my hair. Cut, cut my hair. Uh -huh. Very good, excellent, Cecilia. Okay. Solo que creo que en una en la number two creo que utilizó el verb swim de nadar, ¿verdad? Yes. Vaya, entonces yes. solo la pronunciation, porque por ahí le escuché swim y sería Ajá. swim. Se es. Se pronuncia swim. Swim. Ah, ok. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Excellent. Thank you. Let's go with mine. My sister can sweep a lot. She cannot make cookies. Can Maria cook today? All right, excellent. So, like in lesson number two, Mayra, uh, she can't. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo puso? Repeat again. Cake. Cake cookies. Oh. Cook, make, can, can, can make cookies. O sea, o sea, ah, make, uh -huh. Uh -huh, exactly. Can make cookies. Si sí, está correcto. Uh -huh. ¿Qué le escuché? Creí que le había escuchado making cookies, pero, pero no, dijo make cookies. Excellent, Mayra, very good. There you have it. Let's go with Marvin. Uh, affirmative sentence. Uh, I can play football on the field or in the street. Uh, sentence negative. 
my brother can dance, but he can't play football. Right, excellent, very good, very good. Excellent, uh, and I also... Uh -huh. yeah. Okay, uh, the question, uh, can I buy one or two tickets for the bus? Excellent, very good question. <laughs> excellent, you. Marvin. Let's go with Carla Abre. Okay, the affirmative. Uh, Santiago can drive to the doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, negative. Maria can't speak English. Uh, question. Can Fabiola write a letter? Y the is una combinada. Uh -huh. Okay, sería. I can make a diet, but can stop to eat. <laughs> Very good, excellent. <laughs> I can make diet. Uh, diet, okay, okay, <laughs> diet. <laughs> That was funny. That was very good. <laughs> All right, it's true. All right, excellent. Thank you, Carla. Very good. Let me go with. Do I have another volunteer? Ah, yes, Cecilia Rodriguez, please. Uh, affirmative. He can play the violin. Negative. I can't sing. In question, can you spell your first name? Oh, very good, that one. Can you spell your first, your first name? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Cecilia, repeat number one again, please. La última sí. parte, no la escuché. Violin. Violin. Ah, violin. Ah, violin. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very mm -hmm. good, Cecilia. Thank you. Pero estructurada está correctamente. Very good, you guys, <laughs> let me tell you something. Si ven que me muevo durante el video es porque estoy arreglando mi silla, okay? That's the thing. Uh, si ven que me muevo o algo es porque estoy tratando de arreglar mi silla. <laughs> so let's go with Nerio, lo burde es Nerio. Uh -huh. I can't play chess, but I can take very well. She can cook salad very delicious. Can you dance tango? Ah, excellent, bravo, very good. Can you dance tango? Now let's go with Nestor Amilcar. Hi, teacher. Hi. Yeah. I can dance pop music, but I can dance cumbia. Uh, uh, can you run fast? Very good. Can you run fast? Excellent. Thank you, sir. Let's go with Rene Portillo. Uh -huh, Rene. Good, good night. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Eh, eh, la afirmativa. Eh, can you speak in English in the class? La negativa sería Can't you play basketball? Y la pregunta sería Can Maria cooking Maria cooking y uh, quiero ver. Can Maria cook? Ajá, uh -huh, cook. All right. Very good. Can Maria cook? ¿Puede cocinar Maria? All right. Let's check those. Sí. Really. Let me explain you something. Déjeme le explico algo. Fíjense que las tres que me dijo están correctas. All right. Pero las tres me las dijo en pregunta porque inició con el can. All right. Recuerde que para hacer oraciones iniciamos con el subject. All right. Ah. Recuerdo la estructura. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Right? Y tampoco podemos oh. hacer, eh, por ejemplo, la number two que me dijo el Kent. No podemos hacer preguntas mm. en negativo porque yo no sé si a ustedes les ha pasado que en Spanish a veces decimos, no quieres tomar café. <ríe> y la persona dice, ya me estás diciendo que no quiero. All right? Si usted oh, hace yeah. con el Kent, está haciendo lo mismo. All right? 
So that's why we uh -huh. it that way. Excellent, sir. Thank you. Now let's go with Ra Raquel Santos. Santos, you already passed. Usted ya pasó, Raquel. No, me falta. Aquí está. Give me one second, Raquel. Let me. Okay. In a positive uh, sentence, I can feel your happiness. And a negative sentence, I can drink. All of all dresses are beautiful. Very good, excellent. Okay. The question? Mm, no, no, oh, sí, sí, sí. no, 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 All right. Intente, intente hacer una question, Raquelita. Con estas mismas oraciones. No, con esta. O sea, recuerde la estructura, right? Que iniciamos sí, con sí, el can sí. y luego tenemos el subject. Sí, sí. Okay. Can we to go study at library on Saturday? Mm -hmm. Very good, excellent, Raquel. Improvising, okay. improvisó, excellent. Thank Very you. good. Let me go with hmm. Beatriz Campos, please. Sentence affirmative. My brother can cook a chicken. Sentence negative. I can't speak Mandarin. A sentence question. Can Gabi eat a fish? All right, can Gabi eat fish? Very good, or a fish. Mm -hmm. Si tenemos un tipo específico de pescado, utilizamos el a fish. Very good. Excellent, thank you, Beatriz. Let me go with Alexis Hurtado. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Very uh, good excuse. <laughs> uh, she yes. swim, but she can't ride bike. Uh, I can cook very well. Uh, he can read good. He can't write. Right, excellent. He can read, but he can't write. Very good, excellent, sir. Thank you. What about the other Alexis? Alexis Valmore. Hurtado? No, oh, Valmore. <laughs> okay. Man, Mr. Guzman, thank you. <laughs> uh, uh, affirmative. You can drive very fast. We a uh, sentence is negative. Uh, we can't travel this weekend. Uh, question. Can they play basketball tonight? Very good, sir. Excellent. Imagínense tenía super excellent sus sentences in question. Y casi se queda sin decirmelos. All right. Let's go with Yesenia. Hello, Yesenia. Yesenia, ¿me confirmas si se va uniendo o ya tiene su tiempito aquí? Hola. ¿Ya tiene su sentence? Uh, yes. Or no. Yes. Okay. I can dance. Sí. Eh, can Karen play baseball? I can't play the guitar. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. You can't play the guitar. No puede tocar la guitar. Or yes. A little. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. It happens. It happens. Very good. <laughs> Yesenia. Now, you guys, I think I'm not missing anyone. Oh, sí, me falta Flor de María. Ajá, uh -huh, Flor. Positivity. My sister can swing. Uh -huh. Negative. I can't drive motorcycle. Uh -huh. Very good, excellent. Thank can you play the piano? Uh -huh. 
Very good, excellent, Flor, thank you. No, you guys, I hope I didn't left anyone over there. Espero que todos hayan pasado, right? Um, de verdad que el propósito de esto, como les dije, solo vamos a trabajar tres partes del final exam. Entonces sí quería que pasaran todos para ver cómo estamos trabajando con ese can't or can. Now let's go with abilities and talents. <laughs> let's check. Musical or artistic? Play the violin? Sing English songs? No, you gotta be talent to sing English songs, everyone. All right, specifically the 80s songs, especially las canciones de los 80, right, or 90s. Son difíciles de cantar. <laughs> then you have the technical or mechanical. You got design a web page, fix a car, fix a motorcycle, fix a motorcycle. <laughs> Let me go with the other one. Athletic, do gymnastics, ride a horse, surf. A esta surf le podemos agregar a eh, practice surf, all right? O do surf, cualquiera de las dos. Si en dado caso quisieran un verb. Then we have other. We got bake a cake, play chess, tell good jokes. Now for so many people, <laughs> Telling good jokes is a, a talent, right? Para muchas personas decir chistes o bromas o ser agradables con otras personas es un talento. No es tan fácil para todos hacer amigos, right? Or telling good jokes. Now, jokes es bromas o chistes, everybody. Now that I have said the, the vocabulary, I'm going to ask you to tell me the vocabulary too. Let's start with... Kimberly Elena, tell me the vocabulary of music or artistic and technical or mechanical. Musical or as artistic. Play the violin. Sing English song. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car, fix a motorcycle. Excellent, very good. Now, let me ask you, let me ask you, Cecilia Romero, the vocabulary, please. Okay. Musical or artist. Play the violin. Sing English songs. Technical or Mechanic, design a web page, fix a car, fix a motorcycle. Very good, excellent. Okay. Me, Cecilia, design. Design. Design, very good. Esta. Thank you. Very good. Let's go with Marvin. Marvin, tell me the vocabulary after Marvin, Emma. Musical or art, art, artist, play the violin, the violin, uh -huh. sing the English song, technical or mechanical, designs a web page, fix a car, fix a motorcycle. That's correct. Excellent. Thank you, Mark. Now let's go with uh, Emma. Musical or artistic, play the, the violin, sing English songs, technical or mechanical, design a web page, fix a car, fix a motorcycle. That's correct, my friend. Thank you. Now, everyone, let's move on to the follow. We got athletic and other, right? Let's go with Alexis Hurtado. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Athletic, do uh, gymnastics, ride a course, tour hotels, bake a cake, play cheese, tell good jokes. 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 
Very good. And repeat after me, chess. Chess. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Thank, Thank you, chess. sir. Let's go with Yesenia Vasquez. Tell me the vocabulary, please. Athletic. Both. Uh, athletic do, and other. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Mm -hmm. Other. Bay a key. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Jokes. Very good. Rene Portillo, tell me the vocabulary, please. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Others. Be a cake, play chess, play chess, tell good jokes. Excellent, very good. Carla Abrego, tell me the vocabulary, please. Okay, athletic, um, do gymnastics, ride a horse, surf, otter, bake a cake, play chess. Tell good jokes. All right, repeat after me, honey. Chess. Chess. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very good. Marico el queso. Eso le iba a decir Cheese era de queso. Very good. Thank you. Thank you, Carlita. Now, guys, let's pay attention to this part. Guiding examples. Mayra, tell me the guiding example number one, please. I can tell good jokes. But I can not, I can bake a cake. Very good, thank you. Example number two, Miss Rodriguez. Excuse me. Pablo can ride a horse, but he can't surf. All right, excellent, thank you. Now, let me ask you, I'm going to start asking to all of you. Ya manejamos el uso del can and can't. Ya manejan también el uso del but. All right? Porque no es la primera vez que lo ven. Ya lo han visto. So, sin necesidad de que ustedes escriban, piensen en una sentence que ustedes me van a decir. All right? Así, sin necesidad de que la escriban. So, let's improvise. Improvisemos, everybody. Let me start with Raquel Santos. Tell me one sentence. What are you good for? I... I like play chess. I can play chess. And I can play chess. And I don't, I can't drunk from basketball playing. Uh -huh. I can't, I can't play basketball. I can play basketball. Because drunk is beber, all right? Saltar. Sí. Ah, jump. Saltar, como? Jump. Uh, sí, yo le escuché okay. drunk. All right, excellent, Raquel. Thank you. Very good. Okay. Ya ven, everybody. Let's see another example. Let's go with. Ay, ay. <laughs> All right. No quiero tener victims, pero voy a comenzar. Let's go with Kimberly Elena. Tell me another sentence. Something you are good at. Algo para lo que usted es buena, Kimberly. Y algo para lo que no. Okay, I can uh, dance very good, but I can't uh, sing. All right, excellent, very good. Now you see, easy peasy. Let's go with Mayra. I can't make a cook, but I cannot bake a cake. Excellent, very good. You can cook. Se puede cocinar, but you can bake a cake. Very good. Let's go with Emma. Hi, uh -huh, Emma. I can dance, but I can't play the guitar. All right, excellent. Thank you. Now, let's check this. If you remember this, try to think about this one, all right? Traten de pensar en este vocabulary los que me faltan. So let's go with Marvin. Aha, Marvin. What are you good at? ¿Para qué es bueno usted, Marvin? Uh, tomando el vocabulario que te, tenemos ahorita o lo, para lo que yo sé. Tomando este vocabulario, imaginemos ah, okay. que usted maneja esto. Ok. Right. Uh, I can fix a car, 
but but I can fix a motorcycle. Uh, there you have it. Excellent. Simple. There you have it. Thank you, Marvin. Let's go with Mayrene. I can drive car, but I I can't motorcycle. <laughs> really? <laughs> Excellent. Very good, Mayrene. Thank you. Now you say, guys. Eso es lo que quiero, everybody. Que empiecen a expresar ya sentences, right? Si es cierto, siempre les doy el tiempo para que las trabajen despacito, pero pues ya conocemos las estructuras. Ya conocemos el vocabulario. ¿vale? Entonces ya podemos generarlas mentalmente. Let's go with Carla Abrego. What are you good at, Carlita? Ay, no me siento preparada. Ay, pero bueno. <risa> I can... Okay. I can dance in my house. But can not uh, dance and sing in my world. All right, excellent, very good, Carla. There you have it. Alexis Hurtado, what are you good at? I can sing, uh, sing a word of stage. Uh -huh. uh, but I play the violin. All right, very good, excellent. Cecilia Romero, what are you good at? Okay, quiero ver si me sale. I can talk, mm -hmm. uh, but can't ride a horse. Very good, excellent. There you have it. Thank you. Very good. Push yourself, guys. Desen una empujadita a hacer esto ya improvisado, right? Si me están escribiendo, eh. <laughs> I don't want to listen to you. Let's go with Alexis Balmore. Aha, uh -huh, Alexis. I can, I can fix a motorcycle, but I can't. But a cake. Make a cake. Very good example. It's true that. Very good, sir. All right, everybody. Excellent. Very good practice. For tomorrow's class, we're gonna make this reading. Para mañana vamos a hacer este reading. Y ahorita nos vamos a ir a la platform para hacer el final exam. Right? Let me look for the platform. Aquí está. Okay, I know. Wait. Ya les estoy dando las answers. Ya tengo ahí la respuesta. Okay, give me one second. Give me one second. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now, yeah, we can work in this one. As I told you at the beginning, ya les aparece la plataforma, me confirman? Yes, teacher. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Sí, yes, teacher. Very good. All right. As I was telling you at the beginning of the class, como les mencionaba al principio de la clase, la first part or part A, you're gonna make it alone. Ustedes van a hacer la parte A solas, ustedes mismos, all right? Porque son listening. Si en dado caso, después de hacerlo todavía, teacher, no me salen bien, ahí les voy a ayudar, all right? Pero intenten hacerlo solos, by yourself. Now let's go with the part B, complete the conversation. You got some options over here. Mayra, tell me the instructions, please. Espere, me lo voy a emplear, teacher, que no veo bien. Okay. Instruction. Complete the conversation with some or any. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Mayra. Now, let's get started. It says, Amanda, the store doesn't have any fresh salad. Well, this is Adam. Well, we have lots of tomatoes. Let's make... ¿Qué pondría usted, Marvin? Any or some? Some. Very Let's good. make some. Let's make some. Very good. Okay. Do we have, Cecilia Rodriguez, any or some? Any. Mm -hmm. Very good. Let's go with the next one. No, we need to buy... Yesenia Vasquez, any or some? Uh, 
Any. Okay. Are you sure? Mm. Aquí está contestando en affirmative. All right. Solamente porque alguien le preguntó, ah. ¿tenemos algún limón? O, sí, tenemos algún limón. Ajá. Y usted contesta, no. no Necesitamos some. comprar uno. All right. Mm -hmm. Very good, so. Yesenia. Thank you. We need. Ajá, Alexis Soltado. We need any or some lettuce. Sorry, some. Some. All right, excellent. Oh, I don't want Emma. Any or some. Do I have Emma? Emmy. Uh -huh. Excellent. Ah, <laughs> uh, exactly. Why Emma? Porque cree que iba a ir any. Because the sentence is negative. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Then let's get my Dene. What do we get? Some or any? Your microphone. Any. <laughs> Are you sure? No. Some. <laughs> some excellent. Very no, good. It's some. <laughs> Very good. Yes, yes. Let's go with Flor de Maria. No, I don't want any or some. Flor, your microphone. Some. Are you sure? Is that negative? Any. Any. Very good, very good. <laughs> Gran momento de suspenso, everybody. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nestor Amilcar, but let's put any or some cucumber. Some. Very good. Let's zoom in. Wow, look at you guys. Definitely, you are already finished this. And it's great because it means that you are learning. Nobody tell me anything negative, all right? Very good. Nadie, pues, se equivocó. Quizás nos confundimos en dos, pero no se preocupen, all right? Solo lleven en la mente que el any es para questions o para um, oraciones en negativa, right? Pero chequeemos esta. Cuando aquí dice no, no es que yo tenga una, una oración en negativa. Solo he respondido aquí, right? En Aram. Solo he respondido que no, right? Alguien me preguntó, ¿tenemos un limón? No, no tenemos, right? We need to buy some. Entonces, por eso utilicé el some, porque no es completamente negativa. Solamente que ustedes vean que la oración dice, no, we don't. Ahí sí si utilicen el any, right? Eso, le, eso es un punto clave que les puede funcionar. Let's move on to the next part. Choose the correct adverb. Instructions. Emma, tell me the instructions, please. Instructions. Read the following sentence and choose the best one. Remember the current position of the adverbs of frequency. That's correct. Very good. Now, you guys, if you remember the adverbs of frequency, this was a piece of cake for you. Si nos acordamos de los adverbios de frecuencia, esto fue súper fácil para ustedes. Juan Pineda, léame la primera oración, please. Read the first sentence. Never I play soccer on weekends. Is it correct or incorrect, sir? Creo que es correct. Okay, thank you, Juan. Eh, Kimberly Elena, read again number one. Kimberly, and tell me if it's correct or it's incorrect. Number one mm -hmm. is incorrect. Why, Kimberly? Um, porque el único um, adverbio que se puede utilizar antes del subject es sometimes. 
Y acá está never. Entonces tiene que estar primero el I. That was And like music for my ears. Eso fue como música para mi oído, Kimberly. Excellent. Very good explanation. Very good. So it's incorrect, guys. Dijimos, la única omission, omission que tenemos es el sometimes, right? Que el sometimes puede ir después del subject, antes del subject, o al final de toda la oración. The placement. Let's go with number two. Nerio. Read sentence number two, please. Lea la oración. They usually study English at night. Is it correct or incorrect, Nerio? It's correct. Very good. Excellent. Let's go with number three. René, René Portillo. Read the sentence. Leo la oración, please. It's a correct. But tell me the sentence. Dígame la oración. It's a correct. Yeah, I know it's correct. <laughs> But tell me, tell me the sentence. Quiero que me diga la oración. Sometimes she feels very tired. Very tired. It's tired. It's a correct. Very good, sir. Excellent. You see, that wasn't difficult. Excellent, thank you, Rene. Very good. Number four, uh, Cecilia Romero. Tell me the sentence, please. Miss Romero, are you there? Yeah, you are here. Actually, yeah, okay, okay. Number four, uh -huh. he often called here in the morning. Is the correct? It's correct. Very good. Thank you. And number five, Beatriz Campos. Tell me the sentence, please. You listening to me early ever. Mm -hmm. Is it correct or incorrect? Correct. 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 All right. Thank you. What do you think, Yesenia? ¿Qué cree usted, Yesenia? Number five, is it correct or incorrect? It's incorrect. Why, honey? ¿Por qué? Uh, dice, you listen to me hardly ever. Uh -huh. uh, tendría que ser eh, como, eh, listen to me, listen, you, listen to me. Uh, you hardly ever. All right, excellent. Thank you, Yesenia. Very good. Now, let me explain you this. Hardly ever is an adverb of frequency, right? Este sería nuestro adverbio de frecuencia. Recuerden que la regla nos dice que el adverb of frequency va a ir después del subject. En este caso, you sería mi subject. Entonces, tendría que decir, you hardly ever listen. Right? Very good. Let's submit, guys. Vamos a entrar estas. Sentence. Yay! Excellent, everybody. Very good. This is all because of you. Right? Ustedes lo han hecho. Yo solo voy ahí, ahí pasando las páginas. <laughs> Let's go with the next one. Choose the correct meaning of WH words. Instructions. Go, go over the WH question words. What do they mean? Choose the best meaning. Who? Mayrene Fuentes. ¿Cuándo utilizamos who? Para time, place, people, choice. Thing or object? Uh, time. All right. Thank you, Mayrene. Mayra, when do we use who? When do we use who, Mayra? Place. All right. People, everybody, who is quien? Cuando hablamos de quien, estamos hablando de la gente. All right. Okay. Let's go. And number two. Thank you, Mayra and Mayrene. Number two. Where? Miss Rodriguez. Time, place, people, choice, thing, or object? Place. All right. Good. Excellent. When? Marvin, when?
time. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Alexis Hurtado, which? Choice. Choice, excellent. And the last one, Nestor Amilcar, what? Mino, oye. Very good, excellent, everybody. There you have it, guys. Bravo, my friends. All right, everybody, I'm gonna let you go to sleep. It has been a pleasure to be with you and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. See you Miss tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.